I just logged in. I just came to my shop and I've got 340 scrap inside the shop. People have actually been buying my weapons. Basically, before I logged out, I put a crap ton of revolvers in here, a Python revolver, double barrels, water pipes. People have actually been buying them. That's awesome. Watch the first thing that I'm going to do right now, boys. So in my base here, which is pretty good, I've got an auto turret right there and 500 scrap and i'm gonna research this auto turret 750 scrap it costs to research this auto turret next wipe we're gonna be crafting these we're gonna be putting them in our base it's gonna be awesome bam research welcome back to the solo series anyway guys in today's video we're gonna do some raiding towards the end of the video i'm gonna finish off my satchels go and raid one of my neighbors to end the wipe um and now you guys might be a little bit confused you might be like jordan You've already uploaded a video today. I know, but I wanted to upload this today instead of tomorrow because the last video I uploaded, the video I uploaded earlier today, it wasn't really a survival Rust video. It was just me having a bit of banter with that Russian kid and it wasn't really a true solo survival episode. So I kind of feel like you guys deserve an, an actual survival episode. So that's why I'm uploading twice in a day. Hope you guys don't mind. This is the first time I've ever uploaded two videos in a day and I've always wanted to do this. So guys, enjoy the episode. Let's get into it. I can craft everything I want to craft now. Um, and look at this, my freaking loot room is made out of armored. So it's been a pretty good wipe. You know it's been a pretty good wipe when your loot room is made out of armored. Oh, boys, the locked crate is at the train yard. Yo, this is going to be sick. I've never actually tried to take it. For those of you that don't know what this is, this is a new little item that's coming to Rust. It's basically a, a crate that drops every couple of hours or whatever. It doesn't unlock until after 10 minutes. So basically, what you got to do is when, when you see it on the map, you've got to get there within 10 minutes defend it and then after the 10 minutes is over you get you get some loot from it get ready for a fight because there are going to be people here and they're probably going to have ak's so just a heads up uh blue npc to my left but not a real player where is the real player oh i'm getting rads i've got a hazmat suit okay i think it's at the top of this building here right so we got to go inside the building and then try and take it i feel like i'm about to get shot out of nowhere yeah i hear a player i hear a player dude it's over here get ready I see him. Okay, one dead. Two dead. One more left, boys. One more left. I see you, bro. Come out, mate. Hey, Jordan, is that you, man? Man, you can take the shit. I don't need it, man. J just don't kill me, man, please. Don't, don't kill me, man. No mercy at the locked crate, bro. Sorry. Probably going to come back, these guys. Oh, he had a satchel. Okay. Uh, uh, okay. Okay, this is a lot of loot. Sorry, I didn't realize he had this much. Oh, my God. This is a crap ton of loot. There was one more, remember? There's one more body. Oh, that was the... This was from the crate. The satchel and all this stuff was from the crate, boys. 22 high qual. Right, there's one more body that we need to loot and then we can leave. There was a metal face mask as well, wasn't there? Here it is, right here. Bam. And there was a revolver somewhere, but screw it. We're getting out of here. Nice, we got the loot. Let's get back to base. You just got 1v3, boys. To be fair, I did have a, have a gun and you guys... Well, you had... One of you guys had a pistol, to be fair. You had a pretty good shot at it. I would research the high external stone wall, but they, for some reason, they've made it so that in order to craft the high external stone wall, you need a level three workbench. I remember crafting little compounds, little solo compounds back in the day before the uh, blueprints came out. Well, before the workbenches came out. You know, I used to craft these compounds. I don't know if you, any of you guys been here long enough to remember that. I always used to put high external stone walls and a stone gate outside my base. Always, every wipe. And it was fucking awesome. One of the guys from that group that I just killed knew it was me because I spoke and he said he said my name. So they might be camping outside my base. Okay, it doesn't look like I'm being camped. Nice. Awesome. Okay, so let's see. This high external wall. Oh, no, the wall requires a level two workbench. Yeah, it's the gate that requires a level three. Well, heck, we might research the... Uh, High external stone wall then, don't see why not. I've got some tech trash here and some rifle bodies and loads of other components that I can just go to the recycler and get scrap for. So we should be able to research this wall in no time. Oh my god, there's a raid going on. Right next to me. Right next to me, that raid. Deposit all this and let's go. It was over here. There's no more explosions though. So it's probably only four satchel raid. I need more explosions to go off. I'm not hearing any more explosions, guys. It was probably just a four satchel raid. Player. 
Killed him. Oh, shit. Holy fuck, bro. You scared the living piss out of me. Huh? Sorry, there's a raid going on around here. I was trying to find the guy that was raiding. You know who? You, have you seen a raid around oh, here? Yeah, I heard that. I heard that. Uh, uh, I haven't seen it, but I heard it this way. This way? Okay, let me let me met, let me let me met you up. There you go, man. Yep. Sound familiar. Sound familiar. Yeah, I'm I'm a YouTuber. <laughs> Are for you? Oh, I thought so. I <laughs> knew it, dude. Yeah, my name's Jordan Rance. Nice to meet you, dude. I've heard your voice. Yeah, hell yeah. Oh, I knew. What's up, man? <laughs> What's up, I man? Like your videos. I, hey, I thanks, really dude. We need to get out of here before we die. But nice to meet you, bro. Good. Have a good one. Nice I I love meeting uh people like that. They're just cool, you know. Player. Player with a hatchet. Hey, behind you, bro. Right behind you. Watch out. Dude, watch out. Behind you. Behind you, bro. Hey, right be right behind you, dude. I don't know what was going on there. He's got a key. No way. He's got a key. Oh, he lives in this base. Oh, he's not got a sleeping bag. Freaking hell. Let me put a bag down for him. This guy's actually new to the game. We're going to place a sleeping bag for the guy. He is new to the game. He's only been playing for 20 minutes. Show him the ropes. The guy doesn't trust me. He like, I've told him to do F1 and kill and spawn in the bag. But he's like, go fuck yourself. I'm new to this in this map, not this game. He seems to think like I'm tricking him or something. He doesn't know. So screw it. I'm going to destroy this bag. He doesn't want help, apparently. Let's let's craft up the satchels and finish off today's video of the raid anyway. Let's do this. Thanks to uh, the planet the pumpkins outside my base. Very much appreciated. Right, guys. We've got eight satchels right here, as you can see. But doom. And we're going to go out right now and raid a base. Uh, I think I've got a base in mind. There is a base quite close to me, and it's got a code lock. It's a two by one. So it means that if a base has a code lock on it, it means it's not a solo player's base, and it's a duo or a trio or whatever. And uh, there's more likely to be more loot inside. So let's finish this video off with a nice little raid. Let's do this, guys. Hopefully, some Somebody tries to counter me. There was a base around here. I can't exactly remember where it is. Where is it? I can't exactly... Player. Headshot him. Dead. What weapon did he have? Water pipe. Oh, I remember this guy. He's got a satchel. Where does he live? It's the Russian. It's the Russian. Don't tell me he lives here. Please don't tell me he lives here. He had a satchel. Hey, you there? You know what, guys? If he's online, I'll bring him to the raid with me because I was a dick to this guy in the last video. So, hang on. He's got 500 scrap. The hell? Player right there. Camp in my door. Hey, behind you, bro. He had 500 scrap. I'm putting that in my base right now. All right. Bam. Oh, we can research the freaking wall. Yes. I want to know where that Russian lives. But the base I was going to raid is over here somewhere. I seem to have lost it. Here it is. Nice. We're just going to raid this base. Although I'd love to try and figure out where that Russian lives. I'm not going to lie. But screw it. Let's do this guy. One more satchel and we're in. We're in. Let's have a look what we got in here then. A bed and another door. Okay, let's go next door. Okay, we're in. What have we got inside? That is the question. A box. Both with code locks on. Some drop boxes here. With a revolver. And I'm just going to wait. I'm just going to break through this chest first. Right, what have we got? Oh, yes. Not bad at all. Semi-automatic rifle. P2. Low grade. Uh, ammo. Chainsaw. More meds. Okay, that's insane. We need to get through the TC quickly to see what this guy has. I could just blow through the TC. How much damage would that do? I'm going to do that. Screw it. Bam. This guy's modded his gun a lot. Rather, I don't want the silencer on the gun, mate. All right, what's he got inside his TC? Oh, there's barely anything in here. Okay, bam. Let's go. And that concludes the wipe, guys. I hope you've all enjoyed it. Leave a like if you have. I've really, really had a really fun uh, time this wipe. 
So yeah, the next wipe will start tomorrow. Video will be out tomorrow. If you guys have got any suggestions for anything you want me, want to see in the in the in the series or anything, let me know. And uh, there's probably gonna be another guy camping outside my base uh, or not. All right, there's nobody camping outside my base. That's good. Okay, we have just got back with all this loot and we've done so much research in this wipe. I'm gonna end the video right now, guys. Thank you so much for watching this series. It's been so fun. If you haven't watched any of the episodes, I definitely recommend it because it's one of my best solo series that I've ever done. Thanks a lot for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.